G'day there, you're watching the Aussie BIM Guru, and today we're going to be covering how to build custom packages in Dynamo. So we're following on from the previous videos where we focused on um, developing an icon for a custom package and also uh, creating custom nodes. Uh, so we looked at basically constructing our own custom nodes in Dynamo, now we want to package them. So um, in future videos beyond this one, we're actually going to begin looking at Python. So we're going to begin by looking at some fundamentals, doing some quick tips. And then beyond that, we're going to look at Python in the context of Dynamo as a mini series. So making a custom package. So in this video, we're going to touch on best practices for developing a package, how you can publish it, and also how you can add nodes to a custom package, as well as update it if you published it online. So I guess we'll just start by saying, why should you make a custom package? Um, you shouldn't just do it for fun or for testing. I think it's really there to improve Dynamo. So if you have an idea that you haven't seen before and you know that it'll work and you think everyone needs it, uh, it's a good reason to build a custom package. But you can also just build one for your company as well, which is a, like a local package, which doesn't need to go online. It can just be a deployable package that can be copied between user machines. So there's two reasons you could build a custom package. Um, it's, it's good to be aware that there's already a lot of custom packages out there, especially ones like the really big ones like Clockwork, Rhythm, Data Shapes, Archilab, um, Spring Nodes. Just, just be aware there's already a lot of stuff out there. So try not to create nodes that do the exact same thing as another node that already exists. If it does something slightly different, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's something that you need or it's something you, you think other people will need, but try not to steal people's thunder who have already solved a problem. Um, and definitely don't copy and paste other people's work. If someone can, can if, you, if someone's published a custom package and the nodes are exposed, don't just jump in, copy it and put your name on the front of it and put it in your special package. Um, it's very rude and it doesn't really help the community grow. Um, and if you do exit a little bit of someone's work, say they've done like a little bit that works for you and you want to add it to your script, maybe you just credit them um, somewhere saying thanks for whoever this was who did this part of the script in their script as well. Um, I like to do that occasionally when I'm building custom nodes and I borrow an idea from someone. Um, it's good to make sure that your package is good quality. So if, if you're going to develop a package, I always recommend that you locally publish it to your machine first. Don't just put it online as soon as you've made one custom node. Um, there's way too many packages that do this. Uh, it's better to test it and develop it and make it have enough nodes that someone's going to be happy to download it and feel like it's a package worth um, keeping up to date. Only publish it online once you're satisfied with the quality of the package and that it's ready and it's stable in um, the relevant Dynamo versions to your package. As well as that, um, you can find custom packages on the Dynamo Package, package Manager website, um, but you can also find them within Dynamo on the Package Manager. Um, I much prefer this website now because the package manager is quite um, messy. There's a lot of packages that probably shouldn't be on there that are, unfortunately. As well as that, um, just don't build packages like this one here. There's far too many of them where they have a generic name that doesn't mean anything and they have generic descriptions and there's only one version. Usually it's someone that's testing and they've published a custom package straight online just for playing around with it. They don't take it down and it's stuck there forever. Um, it's really not good practice and it really messes up the custom package manager. I'd say there's really only about maybe 300 packages on the custom package manager that I'd even consider downloading. Um, the rest of them are pretty garbage. And try to stay around for the long run if you can. If you're going to develop a custom package, try to commit to it for a long period of time. Um, a custom package I still use occasionally is Steam Nodes, for example. But the last version was published on the 6th of January 2018. Um, that, that's more than two years ago now. So it's a shame to see some really good quality packages just lose the support eventually. Uh, maybe they move on to better things. I mean, you can't do Dynamo for your whole life, right? Um, but maybe consider trying to pass the reins to someone else that wants to manage the package instead. Uh, that way we can see some of these great packages continue to keep working. And be responsible. So try to test your package when a new build of Dynamo comes out. So if Dynamo 2.3 comes out, 2.4, make sure you test all your nodes to make sure they still work. And if they don't, fix them and release the package again. 
Um, and a really important rule, and I want to thank um, John Pearson, who manages the rhythm package for sort of reinforcing this one to me when I was starting um, in custom package development, is avoid package dependencies. So try not to use custom nodes within custom nodes from your own package. It's okay because they become internally dependent on each other. Um, they're all in one package, but it's still not great because it can be quite, it's like nested groups in Revit. They, they, they become hard to track, but absolutely avoid using other custom package nodes within your custom nodes, because this creates dependency. So if you can imagine that I'm developing package three and I'm inside a custom node and I insert a node from package two, and then without realizing it, package two has a node from package one in that node. <laughs> you can imagine quite quickly, these packages become heavily dependent upon each other. And not only that, they become heavily dependent upon the way they were built in that particular build of that package. And before you know it, you can bring entire packages undone just by nesting other people's custom nodes within your own packages. So avoid it wherever possible. Ideally, just never do it. Without further ado, I'm just gonna jump into some more technical demonstrations of custom packages now. So I'm just gonna show you where custom packages are stored first. So usually they're under C users in your roaming app data under Dynamo Revit in your build under the packages folder. So when you install custom packages, they'll install to here. I've been working on one called um, Crumple um, where I've been adding some, some functions. So, so the structure of a custom package is quite simple. There's a bin where you can put things like customization folders, uh, it's a customization file, sorry, like the one that I put together um, a couple of videos ago where I made a custom package icon. Um, as well as that, all your Dynamo functions for the package belong in here if they're not zero touch nodes. Um, and then there's always some extra things like readmes and things people can attach. And then the JSON of the package itself. Um, so we're gonna cover how to actually set up this package um, locally. We're not gonna publish it online, but I'll show you the option for where you can, because I don't wanna go and add another package to the package manager that we don't need. <laughs> um, so how do we create a custom package? So let's just jump in Dynamo. You can see that the custom package manager here, just how much garbage is in here and how some of it hasn't been touched since 2016, 2015. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in here, like A, B, C, E, R, G, R, like what does that mean? Come on. Uh, anyway, stop looking at that before I get frustrated. So I'm gonna make a new, new custom canvas. Um, I've already got my current package here, so I'll ignore that. I'm just gonna build a new custom node and I'm just gonna literally make the node just test. I'll create a custom node like I did in the last video. Um, I'll just call this test, test. And the add-ons category, I'll just do test, test. So as soon as I make this custom node, it clumps itself under the primary thing that I named it under in its group. And if I go to edit custom node, I'll get prompted to save it. So usually when I'm just preparing for building a custom package, I'll make sure I at least build one custom node I wanna to add to that package. And it's up to you where you wanna save that DYF file. Um, you can just save it under definitions if you want or just on your desktop. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'll just save it on my desktop for now. So to make a custom package, we go up to package, publish new package. We have to name our package. So let's just call this test package. It's worth noting too that even though I've made a node under the package test, Test doesn't exist in my packages at the moment. So what I'll do now is just say, this is a test, and you can say what build it is. So maybe it's version 0.0.0.0.0.1, 0 .0 I guess. Um, group, you can just say it's under test and keyword test. It's very, very, very testing. Um, you, need, you need to add some contents now. So this is where you can add your custom uh, customization file, your DLL. And you can also add custom nodes here. And, this, and you need at least one file to publish. Now, obviously I could be a bit of an idiot here and go publish online. Um, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna publish locally. I think there's a few other options too, saying what's your website and your licensing version for your package, how are you licensing it, is it free for use? Um, etc. and is there a repository URL on GitHub? Um, so add that if you can. Um, I'm just gonna publish locally. It's gonna ask you where to publish at this point. Um, I just say select folder in my packages folder. It's successfully published. Um, I don't wanna publish a different package. So I'm done there for now. I'll go back in Dynamo. So I still have test, test, test. But now I should also have test package. 
So what I'll do now is I'll just close Dynamo, reopen Dynamo, and it should refresh with test package available now. I believe, I believe I shouldn't need the reboot. It looks like I might need to, potentially. I'll just try rebooting my Revit session as well, just to reboot all my packages. In fact, it might just be sorted under test test, I'm not sure, because I do have this test function now in this package structure. So I'll just double check if it comes in when I reboot Revit. But ideally, this is our custom package that we're working with now. So as we create custom nodes, we should be able to add them to this package as well. And this is all still local, noting I haven't put this thing online. Um, so I can keep working on my custom package without polluting the package manager at the same time, um, which I think is really important. I'm developing a package right now and I haven't put it online yet because I'm not comfortable with its quality um, and what it can do yet. So there we go. And it looks like it's just going to be sorted under test test because of the way I set up the, um, the nodes properties itself. Um, that's okay. I'll let it be called test test and the package can be called test package. Uh, but what we can do now is if we make another custom node, so let's make a really good custom node. Let's call it test2 and just make that a custom node. Awesome. Terrible custom node. Let's just call this test2, test2. And we'll just put it under test.test. .test. Great. And I'll go edit custom node. And you can just save as um, into the custom packages DYF essentially. So I can just go into test package, DYF, test two, close this, and it will not only appear in the package itself under here, but it will also be in my package folder as well. So that's great. Um, and beyond that point, if you do ever need to just temporarily uninstall or get rid of the package, you can just move it. So I can just cut this folder, just put it somewhere else temporarily. And I believe that if I reopen Dynamo, the package shouldn't be there anymore. Yeah, so you can see it's gone now because I've temporarily moved it. But this is how you can deploy a local package as well. So if you have this folder, you can literally just take it and copy it to the packages folder, assuming it doesn't have any zero touch dependencies or a special install strategy. Um, some packages do need to be installed in a custom way, um, but not test package because it's such a complex package and all. <laughs> so now when I reopen Dynamo, you can see it's back and my custom nodes have returned. Um, you could you could put it on a server, you could deploy it to your team in a lot of different ways. But that's how you establish a custom package. Um, so we've looked at how to add to it as well. Um, the last thing is how do we publish a new version? or oh, a, a new version of, as I've written there. <laughs> um, so if I'm in Dynamo, I can go package, manage packages, and this will show you all the packages in your packages folder. Um, you can, I believe, change where your packages come from under settings, manage node and package paths, and you can add or change paths here if you want to store your custom packages somewhere different. But I'm just going to go here for now, and I'm going to go to test package, and if this was an online package, or just a, just a package you want to update, you can go publish version if you click on these three dots on the end. And it should give you a dialog where you can update the, the build version and you can add more things to it as you go. You can change everything except for the package name. And at that point I could publish locally um, as a new copy of the package if I so chose. So I could literally just say test package. Uh, don't want to do it again. I believe I might have saved it inside the package folder there by accident. Yeah, I did. Whoops. <laughs> but essentially that would um, become a copy of the the custom package, but version two. Um, so that's pretty much how you can manage custom packages. Um, but I guess pretty much now that we've covered custom nodes and custom packages, um, we'll be moving on. So just, just drawing emphasis to the, the fact that I will be eventually releasing a custom package called Crumple, um, which will have some everyday functions in it that I think maybe aren't covered by many custom packages. Um, it'll also focus on educating. So we'll have a lot of annotation inside the nodes and in the Python scripting. And I've decided there's a couple of old nodes in packages that have been asleep for a long time, um, like Steam nodes, where I want to take some of their ideas and improve on them and keep them up to date. For example, placing viewports on sheets. That node hasn't been updated for a long time. And I think there's a couple of different things I could add to it to make it more functional. So keep an eye on it. I'll let you know when it's released. Um, in future videos, we'll be covering Python fundamentals, so quick tips. And as well as that, we'll also be looking at a mini series where we look at Python in Dynamo. 
Um, in the next video, I'll probably just cover a quick um, summary of who I follow and how I keep up to date on Dynamo and Python and all these things. Because I've had a few people recently request just saying, how do I stay up to date on what's what? So I'll do that first, then the week after we'll cover Python fundamentals. Um, the files for today, just a presentation essentially, will be on GitHub. So feel free to go there if you ever need any of my content. Um, but thanks for watching today. Um, so if you're not already following and subscribing, feel free to do so. I make videos two to three times a week and plan to do so for a long time. Um, so yeah, if you're not following subscribing, um, feel free to. Or feel free to just share the channel with your peers as well if you think they'll learn. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Take care. Bye.